Bienvenidos a todos. I am here with the next Mexican state challenge, which is Puebla. Um, I was actually a little bit surprised when I looked at the map because I thought Puebla is just a state in the center of Mexico. It turns out that it goes quite a bit more north and east than I expected. So, uh, it has a very funny shape and it looks like the Tlaxcala has taken like a, bi a bite out of Puebla. I'm not sure what the history behind that is. But yeah, that's a very interesting shape and it's a rather medium to large state, I would say, therefore. And it has a lot of bordering states like Tlaxcala, Veracruz, Oaxaca, Guerrero, Morelos, uh, Estado Mexico. Uh, so a lot of, I think that's all. Or is it even more? No, Hidalgo is also, it's also bordering somewhere there. I think here maybe. Yeah. So a lot of neighbors. It is landlocked. Most of the part is located in the center, but it, yeah, as I said, it stretches a little bit east. From the elevation, we can see that it has quite a bit of those mountains in the, the eastern range. Uh, it then goes down to the typical, looks like volcanoes here. Uh, it's still in the volcanic belt, I guess. It is hilly everywhere, as it seems to be very typical, and it gets more mountainous in the south as well. Although it doesn't get truly mountainous because that's then it meets the state border of Guerrero somewhere. Where is it? Yeah, it's quite a bit away. And um, what else is there to say? Uh, yeah, it seems like most roads and population are along that corridor here from Puebla to Tehuacan. So it's also where it's most flat here and where the volcano is. So that means fertile soil. So that's not surprising, I guess. So yeah. Let's go ahead and see. Yeah, here you can see the main roads. They are mostly in this area here. But uh, everything in the state is covered. There's no weird mountain roads that have not been covered. Uh, so it's probably not one of the worst states for, um, for the drugs. So those are further south and west, I guess where they grow the opiates in the mountains. We're in a town, looks very cute. Uh oh, can we go on here? Oh, we can, but it does not look good. Let's go back. I went, I had to go this way, wow. All right, so which way did I go then? Probably there, right? So let's, oh, I can't go there, really. So th that's the only way to go then. Hmm, well, maybe that's the way out, probably is, yeah. Mm hmm, do I wanna go here? Not so sure. No, then I end up here. Hmm. So not easy to escape this town. Especially in three minutes. I'm not sure what this way leads to, but I'm not sure if the, yeah. there's no way out of this town. Interesting. There probably is, but I cannot find it. Um, yeah. Puebla, that's great to know the state when we're playing state challenge. Hmm. How to get out of here? I mean, there must be a road that goes down that's a way out. Very likely. 
This way? Did I went did I go this way already? Could be this way. No. That was the starting point. So there's really no no way out? Holy mother monkus. Can I find out which town it is? Uh, yeah, that's just political stuff. And I, I think I was here already, but Mm, ah, maybe not. No, then I end up here again. <laughs> That's funny. No way out here, really. Then I end up here. Maybe this way? Maybe this way. Oh yeah, it looks like we can continue here. But it's a little bit too late, so I'm just gonna guess somewhere uh yeah maybe a little bit yeah where the population is can't go wrong with that oh there it said municipal but i'm not sure did it say that i, I just saw it in like the last second so that's in the western part close to morelos mm, okay fine Ooh. Oh wow, that's really nice. I like those trees. So this reminds me of some location that I just looked up uh, while... Um, not while playing, but while checking the... It looks a little bit like Michoacan, those forests that, I s that I've seen in Michoacan. Mm. But I mean, with so many elevation changes, it can be everywhere. Wow, the mountains look... I thought that was snow, but it's not. <laughs> Via Turistica. What is that? Trujas la venta. What does that mean? La venta. Un país a la, ve a la aventura. Probably. Via ecoturistica. La venta. Maybe it's a town name. Maybe it's just a region. Maybe it's something else. Venta. Does that mean sale? Could also mean that. Such a pretty road. It seems like we're going up when going south. So are we maybe on the southern or southwestern end? Hmm. Pretty tough getting 5,000 here. So I'm going towards southwestern area because why not? Michoacan is a little bit west, so maybe it is here. Let's guess. Yeah, it was in the western part. Oh, that was a national park. Wow. That's why it's so pretty. Oh, wait, there's Popocatépetl in the south. Wow. Oh, holy mother monkus. Where, where were we before? What was the town before? Let me see. Did we see it? Because it's so close. It is south. So towards this direction. Mm. 
Show me that again. We're already kind of on it, I think. So that's maybe why it said Puebla on the sign, because I might have crossed into into Estado Mexico. Wow, that was nice. That's why it's so pretty, because there is a volcano that made all that beautiful land. Okay, this feels much drier. Wow. Okay. Drier. Surprised to see Puebla so dry. That's interesting. This feels much more like Chihuahua or something. What, what was that? <laughs> what? Who does it belong to? What the heck? Wow, so many cacti, that far south in Mexico. You always learn something new. Wow, that's so different. We go up. Wow. But yeah, it's another one of those roads where good luck finding a sign. Yeah, there's just no way there's gonna be a sign on a road like this. Like a useful sign. You never know, but... Usually those roads, they don't really branch off. So if you have a town, it's along this road and that usually doesn't help. See, there's the town. And now what happens next? <laughs> That's funny. And now, how to get out of here? Oh wow, Puebla seems to be a funny state. Whoa. It looks so colorful for being so dry. Ah, here is the way out. Ugh, no! So this must be more further inland. But where? It has to be a rather flat area if it's so dry. So uh, let's say maybe, maybe like here. Because we can't go much more north than that. Or maybe it's... Yeah, 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 yeah. What? It's also in Western Puebla. <laughs> what? Which was the town that was in round one? That was somewhere here, wasn't it? But yeah, you can see it's right in the center, like the furthest away you can get basically from the both coasts. And it is rather... So, so it's south of Iz Izucar de Matamoros, which is here. Yeah, it's somewhat flatter here, but still, not really. <laughs> Surprising. Oh, we got a main highway, wow. That's like checkpot in Mexico. Oh, what 
close that. Um, tramo del. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not sure what which of those numbers matters. Four forty seven eighty. That can't be a road. Tehuacan Teotitlan. That's the road. So from here to West Teotitlan. Needs to be a big town. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. I hate when they abbreviate town names. So we're somewhere in between here. Pretty dry mountains. So this state is drier than I expected. Huh. Overall at least. What is that? No deje piedras sobre el pavimiento. That's not the town name. I know that. <laughs> I know some words. <laughs> wow. But it's it's also nice here. Oh, let's stay here. <laughs> Not gonna go there. So we are on that road, but which town are we closer to? Probably those numbers were the kilometers on that sign. But we don't know where, where to count from, at least I don't. Oh, what? <laughs> Is that maybe town name? What? Centro? What is CTO? Mm. Teotitlan, Teotihuacan, uh huh, uh huh. Don't see any town names. It was in this town, San Sebastián Sinacatepec, but that was never signed, I think. But at least we could find which road it was. So that was more like the. Easy, yeah, that's very eastern part. And that's already the, the eastern range. Is the eastern range drier than the western range? Pretty sure it's not the case he, here up north. But maybe down here it doesn't matter that much anymore. Ooh, sticky, sticky. Oh, those heels look very cute. Ooh. Can we see a big town down there? Nope. <laughs> what is this? Nice. Yeah, we made it into a town. So they do this stuff a lot here. Not sure if that's a Mexico thing or if it's a Puebla thing. To do it like this in the towns. Uh, how do I get out? I don't want to go up, to be honest. Uh, Oh boy. I need to go down. It doesn't make sense to go up. Ah, nah. Secretario de Salud. Hmm. But where? Localidad San Pedro, San Pedro de Mamatla. Municipio Jal Jalchicomula de Sesma. Ooh. 
where is that well I kind of it's my best guess to find it mm. so probably need to look for the municipio that's such a long name it should pop out if it's decent sized uh, hmm Tecomatlan, San Pedro What is San Pedro Tamamatla? Is that the street or what? So where does Puebla go? It goes up here, right? Yeah. Could we be here this time maybe? Doesn't look like it's that mountainous. But maybe on the edges. Hmm. No idea. So I'm just, it's quite green, so maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, there it is. It is San Pedro de Mamatla, but wow, look at the size. It's so small. It felt much bigger, to be honest. Okay, okay, okay. That was another rough one. Oh, how many points did I get? 5k. Wow. Good job. So, round one was this one, two was near the volcano. Three was this, four was east, and this one was the furthest north. Let's have a quick look at all of them again at the landscape, because I think none of them look the same. Uh, each and every one of them look different. So this one was number one in the west, south of Popocatépetl, where it's quite green right that's this one yeah then number two is on the volcano itself number three is the dry area which is in the south number four was more like that's more like the typical Mexico although the, the mountains looked quite dry that was four, that was in the east and number five that was already a lot of cacti round five, north yeah, makes sense that uh, it's in the volcanic area it's down here it's already not the volcanic area anymore, I think so it kind of had to be north, yeah, now that I think about it because the way the, the the mountains are shaped it doesn't look like it's it was formed over time like it was formed quickly probably so yeah that was it Puebla that was very enjoyable I guess uh, much more diversity than I expected really interesting with those central states that some of them are really interesting even though they're so central they should should be the typical Mexico locations but they often are not so yeah what is the next state I don't know actually what comes after P do we have another P state we have P Q so that means probably Querétaro is next Probably, which is where is Querétaro? What? Where is it? Why can I not find it? What? It is. It is. It is also is a uh, central state. Oh, there it is. Yeah. It, so this time we were more like east of Mexico state, and the next time we are 
more north and west of the state. But yeah, another central state. And after that, P, Q, R. Is there a state with R? I don't think so. Then we have S, which has quite a few, I think. Oh, we also have Quint Quintana Roo. So what is first? K Querétaro is first, then is Quintana Roo. Okay, nice. Okay, that will be very different, huh? Definitely excited for that. <laughs> and we'll be interested to see if Querétaro can surprise us again with some interesting views. So let's see. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you still enjoy this series. I certainly do. So see you next time. Bye bye.